Hello guys and how are you doing? You're watching this video because you've got a problem with one of these and this is ESP826601 to be precise and it was causing me problems as well and this is the reason I'm making this video. So if you want to flash it I'm gonna show you a few methods. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it on Linux and how to do it on Windows using um, USB to serial adapter and this is FTD1232 uh, it has a DTR pin, and I'm going to show you how to use the DTR and how not, uh, well, how to use adapter without the DTR pin. That's the first, first two methods, actually. Next up, we've got this, and this is Arduino Uno. We're going to use this one as well to flash it. I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you've got one of these bad boys, you can use it. And the third device, it's Raspberry Pi. Yes, you can do it with Raspberry Pi. We're not going to connect it directly to the GPUs because it's messy. It is possible, but it's messy. We're going to use, again, this adapter, but we're going to do it on the Raspberry. And I'll show you how to do it. In addition to that, I'll show you how to flash in it. Um, script, Lua script. I'm going to post it so you can try it yourself. Um, yeah, and that will basically get you started with ESP's H266. Uh, two notes. Um, first of all, always check the jumper cables. If something doesn't work, honestly, I, I've been there, I've made a mistake, I've not noticed, and that was frustrating for half an hour trying to figure out what it was. It was a cable. Always double check if you've connected it correctly. The second thing is uh, these, these tiny thingies and a little bit bigger versions as well. They, these are 3.3, so my uh, adapter has 3.3 and it has 5 volts as well. So make sure it's powered correctly, correctly. it's 3.3. Lastly, all the steps, all the links and everything is going to be listed in the article. So if you prefer um, reading about it and following the uh, written guide, uh, there's going to be a video somewhere here. Or here. I don't know which, which side is it, um, but it's going to be there. You're going to have all the download links, all the um, code to, to paste or script to paste or whatever. It's going to be all there for you. So please visit it and save the website or, you know, follow me there as well. Anyway, let's get started. I'm going to use the adapter that I've built before, but feel free to connect it directly. So I've got everything hooked up on the FTD side. Uh, so I'm just going to start with the power. So VCC and the ground, they're going to go to power rails. Power rails is already hooked up to the uh, adapter and uh, it's connected to VCC and chip power down. Next up, it's going to be uh, DTR to GPO0. This is need to be grounded. Uh, next, uh, TX to RX and then RX to TX. Then it's uh, GPO16, but don't connect it to the ground just yet. We're going to use it to reset it. All you have to do is just to touch the ground to reset it like this. And that's pretty much done. And uh, just pop connect the power. And that's, that's all. Now, if you don't have a DTR pin, uh, then what you can do, you can connect the GPO0 to ground directly. So just use the either ground pin on the FTD or uh, connect it directly to the rail. I'm going to show you both ways. So this is a ground pin and the next method is just connecting it directly to the power rail. I have to change the jumper from uh, to male to male to do it. Now, if you want to connect it via Arduino Uno, um, it's very similar, there's a few changes. So I'm going to start with the adapter. Adapter is already uh, linked to the power rails and I'm going to start with connecting the VCC and connecting the ground. So VCC connects to the VCC and chip power down and ground connects to the ground. So I'm going to use the, uh, just the rails for the power rails on the breadboard. And next up, uh, I'm going to connect Arduino reset pin. So you have to uh, slot in into the reset and then ground it. This way it will uh, enable it as a just a serial to USB adapter. Then this is a little bit different because RX connects to RX and TX connects to TX. Uh, it was a uh, opposite case when we were using the serial to um, USB adapter. So don't confuse that, make sure you connect it correctly. Now GPO0 connects to ground, so just uh, link it either to ground on the rail or ground on the um, Arduino, and then reset pin, which is GPO16. Uh, don't connect it to anything, we're gonna just touch the ground to reset it when needed to. 
that's brilliant so everything's connected we can just slot in our um, ESP8266 and plug in the power there you go it's powered up to flash ESP you have to reset it while uh, the GPO0 is pulled down so this is how you do it and now let's uh, jump into some software pause the video if you haven't downloaded everything yet uh, go to the uh, linked website and download uh, all the software press shift and right click inside the ESP tool folder to bring up command um, window inside that folder directory in the device manager look up the ports to check where your USB um, serial port is located first thing to do is to erase the flash so use the command on the screen to do it press the button as instructed when uh, the device is trying to connect don't skip this step as this is most likely what has been causing you all the troubles with the ESP now the board is prepared for flashing new firmware use the right flash command in a DIO dual uh, input output and address provided then navigate to the bin file with your new firmware to flash execute the command and then go and immediately restart your ESP8266 so it would connect the flash is gonna take a few moments and after that you will see the successful um, command and your device should reboot as well well, erasing the firmware has to be done uh, prior to this and it cannot be done via flasher. You can use uh, Node MCU flasher to flash the um, firmware via graphical inf interface. This is how the advanced tab looks like. Select your flash size and load your uh, bin into a config. So I'm just selecting my firmware and then I'm ready to flash. All I have to do is select the correct address click on operation, click on flash, and then restart again my ESP board. It will take a few moments to um, load. So you should see the uh, QR code and the uh, MAC address uh, for the access point. Um, if that's not present, just try to restart the ESP board again. Whether using Arduino or using FTD uh, adapter, the flash procedure is exactly the same. Let's take a look at uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, Git clone command with the address uh, will get you the tools you need. You need the ESP tool downloaded uh, to your Raspberry Pi, so do so please. Again, all the links are provided in the uh, article in the description. Once it's installed, navigate to the uh, directory and then you can start using the Python script. So you can execute it by just typing Python and the script name. We've used this tool in exactly the same way on Windows. The only difference is that the COM port will have a different name. You can look up what's currently hooked up to the USB by typing this command. Connect your serial adapter and execute the command again and you will find the name of the port that has been assigned to your device. In my case this is TTY USB 0 so my device name is going to be slash dev slash TTY USB 0. In the same way we're starting with um, flashing or actually erasing the previous flash so it would clear all the problems that would pro potentially give us in the future so exactly same command just swap the um, port from com5 or whatever it was port 9 uh, to the slash dev slash tty usb 0 or equivalent and then execute it restart the board and wait for the um, command to clear your flash. Also, exactly the same way as previously, we're going to flash it. So move your um, firmware to the Raspberry Pi, execute the same command, swap over the um, port, and you will be able to flash the image. Make sure you are in a correct directory to execute it, and when uh, it's waiting to connect, just reset your board and in a few moments you'll get uh, the, a new firmware on ESP. Whether you're doing it via Linux or whether you're doing it via Raspberry Pi, the procedure is exactly the same. Open the Explorer and remove the GPO0 uh, pin because you don't want it grounded anymore for loading the uh, script files. Select the correct baud rate, find the COM port and click Open. This will start communicate to device, but it won't actually connect until, you know what, to reset the uh, board itself. So quickly reset the board and you'll see that you should uh, connect uh, to the Explorer and that will display current version of your firmware. 
I've included a sample Lua file. This will just connect to the um, access point of your choice, uh, fill in the password and the SSD, and will display IP. Never load the main script to the init file, just make the init file to execute the correct script for you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope that's going to solve the problems with flashing ESP8266. Um, again, if the video was a little bit too quick for you, um, there's a link here for the article and feel free to read it. And uh, you're going to find step by step instructions, all the links to software, and the sample uh, script as well. All right, I'm going to see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.